in Shemitah is like wine for Pesach. Yeah. <laughs> shalom Aleichem. Shalom, shalom. Nice to meet you. I asked Rabbi Bloom to meet us over here at the best supermarket and he's going to show us a little bit about the fruits of how you buy them, what the difference is and what the different options are in a simple way because it's a little confusing. It's a bit complicated, but we can go through it. So After let's go you. for it. Okay, so Rabbi Moshe, I know that when I came on Aliyah, it was very confusing to buy fruits during Shemitah and we came the year after Shemitah. So even though we we're finishing the year of Shemitah, um, people think that it's over, but it's not quite over. The fruit issue, Shemitah fruit, will be from around Pesach started till next year. Depends each fruit right. on the season, but yes, till the middle of the eighth year, even some, some things till the end of the eighth year. Correct. So this past year we were dealing a little bit more with the vegetables, and from now to the next year will be more of the fruit season. Correct. And where are Israel trees, we help plant fruit trees all over Israel. So for us, this is very relevant and for everybody buying fruits. Okay, so as I walk into the store, the first thing I see over here is on the right-hand side, it says Kedushat Shvi'it, and it says Otzer Betin, and of course it says Otzer Aret, which is your institute. What exactly does that mean? Okay, this means these grapes grew by a farmer that keeps Shemitah, meaning Hefkel, not his. The Beidin told him, listen, you will be our shaliach. We will tell you what to do. We, the Beidin, we pay him for his expenses. Right. Because he works, he has expenses, not for the food. Right. Not a salary for expenses. And then you have trucks, you have, you have a lot of things, and then it comes to the shop. We tell the shops how much they can, they can sell. So it's extremely fixed pricing, and it's based on the actual cost of everything. Correct, of the whole procedure, of course, which is very complicated how you do it, but we have a fixed price. All, we have 130 stores, all of them have a maximum price. If the store wants lower, no problem. Right. But maximum price, because it's Otsar Beidin, you can't pay for the fruit, you can pay only for the labor and for the, the labor. Work. We think, and it's well, Ravi Frati, the Chazonish, the that, uh, uh, says Otsar Beidin is the best. Right. A, we eat Kedushat Shvi'it. Which is huge. <laughs> Which is huge, according to the Ramban, it's a mitzvah. Right. Other people say it's not a mitzvah, but it's Kedusha. Right. We want to eat Kedusha, we can right. consume, if we can. Second thing, we help Jewish farmers to keep Shemitah. Right. Meaning, when you say, how can I, I'm a person, I'm by, I don't have a field, how can I help? So I can donate money right. for farmers, but I can do even more. When I'm buying, I'm helping the farmer to keep Shemitah, because right. then he has business. Right. And if Chas I won't buy, and we knew stories in the past, farmers grew, and people said, oh, it's baby, no, it's difficult, we can't throw it to the garbage right. afterwards, we have to keep it, it's Kedusha, no, 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 no. People I get scared of it. Scared. And then what happens? The farmers say, next Shemitah, we don't want. Right. So by being scared, we are uh, uh, not helping farmers to keep Shemitah. Okay, so all of this is Kedushat Shvi'it, right over here. And if we're to swing over to this side, right over here, so I see right over here, apples, Tapuach Etz, Pink Lady, Pink Lady, which is a favorite of a lot of people, including Zohar Seinu. Uh, and it says right over here, Chul. Correct. So Chul stands for? Import. Chutz La'aretz. Correct. And explain to us what is the ramifications? Is that totally fine? Okay. Is it preferable? So there is, is it... no Shemitah issues because there's no Shemitah issues in Chutz La'aretz. However, when outside you... Outside the land of Israel. Outside the land of Israel, yes. But you're not helping Jewish farmers. Right. And it's like buying something with no Kedusha. Right. Is it kosher? Yes. Is it preferable? No. Not However, as much as not, the, the traditional. Not as much. However, right. the pink lady uh, uh, apples in Israel will come only towards Elul, which is right. a month and a half from now. And the apples from last year, from Ramat are finished. Right. So we had no apples, right. pink lady. We can tell people don't eat pink lady for two months. Right. But we know people want. People want things. So the, the, the second option is to bring from Chutz Laaretz if we have no other option. Right. So moving down the line, I see right over here, Tapuz, Bereshit, and the orange, sorry, the uh, net, and it says, Shnat Shishit. You're right. This is from the six-year produce. Right. We didn't explain that for fruit, doesn't matter when you pick it from the tree. Right. It matters when it starts growing. When it starts to grow. And it, from the time it starts till the time you're picking it, you have a few good months. Right. So this orange, even though maybe they picked it two months ago, 
or a month ago, or yesterday. In a Saturday refrigerator or whatever. Or that, but it was started growing for Rosh, Rosh Hashanah, Hashanah of Shemitah. That's it. We have another kind of apple, Smith apple, which is still shishit. Okay, so the next one I see, Shkoach, is right over here. I see an interesting option. And this one says, Tepoach uh, Adama, which is a uh, potato. And this one is a red one. Yeah. And yeah. it says, right, and it says, Gidolim mi Olei Mitzrayim. Correct. Translated, which means grew from the Olei Mitzrayim. What does that mean exactly? Okay. It's a little people Olei don't know. Olei Mitzrayim is uh, inside the state of Israel today. The, the modern state of the Israel. The modern state of, of Israel. But on the uh, 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 side of the Negev, the western Negev. Okay. Next to the Gaza border, that's right. one area, and under the Dead Sea and down to Leila. For Shemitah, it's not considered Eretz Yisrael. It's Eretz Yisrael for the Kedusha, right. but not for the Shemitah laws. Some right. people say the border is going down. A I, 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 I wouldn't. We so have you, four so you're many saying levels. Some of those areas might have the Kedusha to Eretz Yisrael for, let's say, Trumot and Masrot, but not for Shemitah. Or for Yeshuv Eretz Yisrael, but not for Shemitah. Right. And some opinions say it has a Kedusha till Eilat, meaning the whole country. Right. But again, only the Kedusha of Oli Mitzrayim, first temple, which is a lower level of Kedusha than second temple. So when we have all kinds of uh, 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 debates, and we, when we debate, is this option Oli Mitzrayim or other options that we right. didn't see yet, so maybe we'll say Oli Mitzrayim is a lower level, we'll take from there. Okay, so what's the difference between Ole Mitzrayim? Because I've seen other signs that says uh, Arava Dromi, the southern Arava. Is that Correct. the same or no. is it slightly different? Uh, <laughs> uh, on our website, we have exactly the map. Arava Dromi is only 50 kilometers from Eilat and up. Oh, so it's very far south. Very far. That's Mamash next to Eilat. They can go there a lot of things. It's very hot. And that's according to the Psak of Rav Efrati. In Israel, we have Osherad, which is a very big chain. Right. According to the Chazonish, that was his Psak. Only the, the, those 50 kilometers, you can go on Shemitah, but not above. So, the, okay, so the Arava Dromi is the 50 kilometers from Eilat, from Eilat and up. Correct. And the other one we just said over here, the one that says Ole over here, Ole is, is a little bit high, higher. Bit, no, more. It's around uh, 150 <laughs> kilometers, till, around till uh, the Dead Sea. The okay. whole, uh, what's called today, Arava. So the Ole Mitzrayim includes the... Correct. Arava Dromi. Correct. Correct. But if our institute thinks Ole Mitzrayim is okay... Right, right, I understand. Other opinions say it's not okay because right. some, some areas there, according to them, is in Eretz Israel. So the Arava Dromi is a little bit more uh, strict Co or machmir... Correct. Than, the, uh, ...than this one over here, which is the... Ole Mitzrayim. Ole Mitzrayim. Okay, Correct. excellent. So let's move on to this section over here. We have another option. 